Hi everyone, welcome to this course on advanced structure mechanics. Let's first discuss the objective of this course. This course will try to present a, uniform, a unified approach, which is called theory of elasticity, uh, to study the behavior of structure members and to understand the design and failure criteria. This course will treat each type of structure member in uh, sufficient detail so that the resulting solution is applicable to the real world problems. Variety of examples will be presented. Finally, this course will clearly tell us how the elementary mechanics is unable to solve variety of problems and therefore the theory of elasticity will help to solve the problem and give us uh, a better understanding. This is the brief uh, course outline. As we discussed, this the main idea behind this course is to present the theory of elasticity. Theory of elasticity is different and it's more advanced as compared to the elementary theory of mechanics. In elementary theory of mechanics, we had a very well-known engineer's beam theory formula, which was stress is equal to m, y, or i. That equation was used for finding out stresses. And the main assumption based on which that equation was derived was that plane section remained plane. There are many cases in which the elementary method of strength of materials or elementary mechanics is inadequate to furnish satisfactory information regarding stress distribution in engineering structures. So a recourse must be made to the more powerful method of the theory of elasticity. Just to quote some examples, if we want to find out stress distribution at a point where the load, very heavy load is applied. Elementary theory of mechanics, which as I said, is based on assumption that plane section remain plane, is not able to capture the stress distribution at the point where there is a huge concentration of load. That can be a point where the load is applied or the point where we have got reactions. Similarly, if we have re-entrant corners, it can be a stress concentration and the whole elementary theory fails to describe uh, stresses. So theory of elasticity, this is a very powerful method and it, it tries to deliver very good solutions which agree with the actual experimental results. So the co content of this course would be initially description of stresses notations for uh, forces and stresses component then component of strains which is called kinematic stresses and forces they are dealing they are statics or dynamics then combining them into a model which is called theory of elasticity model so these would be combined using constitutive equations or stress strain relationships then we'll do plane stress and plane strain problems where we'll discuss stresses and strains at a point so that will be just uh, moha circles and things like that we will have a uh, just a refresher about them mm, we'll discuss the differential equation of equilibrium uh, boundary conditions compatibility equations and stress functions finally we'll do two dimensional problems mostly in rectangular coordinates. We will try to solve problems using polynomials. We'll discuss Centwinant principles. Uh, we'll try to determine displacements. We'll study different type of problems, um, which, and the application of the theory of elasticity. Now the grading plan of uh, this course uh, would be as follows. We'll have a uh, weightage of 15% given to quizzes, 10% given to assignment, midterm exam, 25% weightage, and the end semester exam having 50% of the weightage. Reference material. List of 
books are available i mean there are there's a lot of work which have been done on theory of elasticity i will try to use uh, the two highlighted books in the class uh, primarily the borasi advanced structure mechanics and then as a porting a book we would have theory of elasticity by uh, timoshenko and godier so that's another very good book beside this i will try to solve most of the problem on the board so uh, if you have any problem you will um, you will be welcome to ask me any questions and we will try to develop our uh, understanding this course would involve mathematics theory of elasticity is uh, based on advanced mathematics i will try to refresh your memory about different mathematical concepts uh, i'll introduce some new mathematical concepts i won't assume in this class that you remember everything please remember that this is this course is a precursor to finite element analysis once you develop concepts and you understand how problems are solved using theory of elasticity then you would appreciate the importance of computers in solving many structure engineering problems we will see in this course that the solutions uh, using theory of elasticity are laborious they are very lengthy even a simple problem as simply supported beam or a cantilever beam solution is more involved unlike the elementary mechanics solution which was hardly a two or three liner 